A little more pressure. Yeah. Now I'm feeling for her bones right now. Okay, I think I'm on the right spot. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, right there. <sighs> So how are the kids? Ah, my daughter had a baby. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Well, so her girlfriend had a baby. So you're good and at she's four months old now. I've seen her five times the day she was born and, and a couple weeks ago, four months old. Nice. Just think, she'll start talking and being a human being pretty soon. <laughs> Is that your first grandchild? Yeah. Sweet. Only one child. And so when I get to be with my daughter, I'm with both my babies. My daughter baby and my daughter's baby baby. Super cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's really fun doing contact improv with a baby, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, any higher, lower, forward, back, any differences? Mm -hmm. Just stay here for a bit? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. good thing. So I constantly check in. Yeah, we could do slightly higher, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Grow back a little bit. Good. It's yeah. good to fumble until, you, until it feels right. Now you can roll your pelvis forward or back depending on where you want it. The hip flexor, like the front part is really sensitive. Uh -huh. So we can go into it, but I think it needs to like be slower. The, the tools that we have to work on bodies really deeply are our sits bones, our or, or sits bone sacrum um, our ilium bone can be used for various things if I if I really worked it, at it and fumbled around a bit I could put my ilium bone right between her in her hip joint or the femur and the sides of the ribs those are your basic basic tools the ribs oh. okay. but just slow yeah slow movements okay. see so I'm rolling it back and forth here yeah, so going slow on the on the hip flexor side. Going into the, the front. Side. Yeah. Any directions you want me to go in? This is great, right there is great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh my sit, god. No, my yeah. sits bone Let's is coming in there, deeply from the back. But my sits oh, bone is coming yeah, in Yeah, it's slow, from the back. like right there. Just stay there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That's it's really the issue of bone, <sighs> not the sits bone. <laughs> it's the issue of bone. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Whoa. That's a really good spot. Mm -hmm. One of the ways to use your ilium is into the glute. That's a nice way to. Get into the glute. Yeah, we could slowly, like if we, if we move in a little slower. Yeah, oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh. See wow. what I did is I was, all the little movements that I was doing just now, that kind of like maps the area. For me, I can feel her bones underneath. I can feel my, where my sits bone is landing better when I move around a little bit. Oh, so good. So your hips will sway more easily when you walk now. Yes. This is good for men let their hips move a little more, um, a little bit more sway in their hips when they walk. 
and then tend to walk a little stiffly. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. That's really good. Slightly less pressure, but yes. Oh. Mm. Yeah, right in there. That's perfect. Wow. <sighs> Her hip joint is like this. Here's her ilium, or maybe that's her ilium, or either one. Ilium had a femur, and this is her hip joint. Um, my sits bones are rocking around, walking around in here, finding different places. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's great. I feel like the muscles like relaxing, and then you keep kind of going like deeper into like new spots. Mm -hmm. Now I'll also be facing your feet doing this as well. I can also be laying my femur um, into the valley of the joint too. I can also put my shin in the joint. Balance on it. Mm -hmm. This is more work because I have to hold my body in this position. And also, oh, pardon me, whenever you're banging into them the way you don't want to, you just say sorry. I didn't mean to do that. There's the shin. Oh, oh, oh. A little lighter, but that's pretty good. <laughs> oh! Left slightly. But I think yeah. Oh yeah, right there. A little less. Yeah. A little less. I think I can get there, but we might just go in more. Anyway, um, I'm just saying that that's another way to do it, and that's pretty intense for her. Um, the normal body work method that we might be doing. Let me have this way. This is not some normal body work because I'm, you know, wrapping myself around her. But you can get into this joint oh. very easily with the elbow, <laughs> like this. Which is more typical body work, using the arms. And this will also rotate into, um, and sometimes I will uh, pad, sometimes I will drape people in their crotch. I'll put a pillow on like a towel here. But we're not gonna do that now, we can, uh, also get into the buttocks, so as, um, not so as, buttocks and um, piriformis really easily. 
wow. and this stuff here. And you can move the leg around with ways that you can move the muscle underneath the pressure like this. Anyway, that's more typical body work. But again, it's a little closer than most body workers do. And you can do this on the floor way more easily than you could on a table. You can also do the lower back here with the elbow of the forearm. Anyway, so. Oh, yeah, that's so good. That's all that. I'm so excited about body work now. Cool.